guys okay that's better so I am 28 weeks pregnant and if I think y'all probably have seen that I was in the hospital and all that craziness so I'm gonna update y'all on that um, but I also I wanted to tell y'all first just some exciting things um, about like they did a checkup when we were at the hospital and their update on her is and I think we're gonna name her Cora I'm so excited um, we're still trying to decide on her middle name but they did like her ultrasound and everything was looking good and so I think they were like her livers and kidney or something I can't remember but they said like all everything was like so hopefully she's growing healthy and she's gonna be really really healthy when she gets here and we can keep her in here for a lot longer oh my gosh I cannot believe how big she is I'll show my belly in a minute but holy moly I'm like huge I was guessing she so like as far as her weight I thought that was ex exciting news um she's like she's probably about two pounds 14 15 ounces something like that and then she's like she measured her head again and she was like no let's just go ahead and say three pounds so I'm thinking with her like normally they comment on ultrasounds like how little she is or they had been um, but this one was like saying that her head was measuring pretty big already so I was like oh my gosh so I think she's officially three pounds which is so crazy I have three pounds in here if not for like soon because I feel like she's growing so much faster um, and I do have um, diabetes and type 1 and so they say with that um, that the sugars make the baby grow faster like the baby usually ends up being really big but um, if you know my story with my other girls they were really big anyways and I had gestational with them so um, I'm just expecting her to be big but we've had this scary already pre-labor stuff um and so i think maybe y'all have seen some of that already but 28 weeks um i woke up and i was feeling like um just nauseous really and just kind of like dizzy but kind of went on through my day um went to church and just um i couldn't really eat anything though like i was not hungry like we went by um to get something to eat and i took like two bites and i was like well I just could not eat so I didn't eat like that whole day but anyways I got home um, my levels were high and so I was like I'm gonna take like a good um, dose of insulin and normally it comes right down so and sometimes when you're sick you're that just happens so um, it wasn't alarming yet I just rest but when I woke up still high numbers um, still hurting but this time I was hurting lower and I was like okay we're going to the hospital so I went straight to the hospital um, they were monitoring everything she was great um, they just wanted to get fluids in me and we're not sure like if I ate something bad had like food poisoning I felt like I had the stunt bug but I never like actually got sick and then um, but right after the fluids and stuff I was feeling better and they got my numbers under control and all that so then we're back we're back on track now um they said i could do regular activity like working and stuff but i do um need to take some breaks or like slow down if possible um and like i cleaned bathrooms and kitchen yesterday and i'm doing laundry now and like just taking breaks even doing those kind of chores so it's just hard to slow down because you know how busy crazy we are and like our lives are always busy we've got sports stuff the girls are keeping us busy we're about to start camping again we love camping and we do have a spring break trip coming up so at first we were like ah are we gonna make it so i think we are we're um just a couple weeks away and so hopefully if she as far as everything goes um, I go to the doctor soon and so I can now though um, they did move me to like there's two ho a hospital that's closer to me that I was going to that I love but the NICU is at the other hospital that's further away so there have been me switched there which I was already going there some I had Camry there so either way was fine and now I'm going there just in case I do have her early the NICU will be there 
and so I do feel better about that and stuff because I did already have camera early. We still don't really know why that happened. I have thought about going back to watch some of her videos. I had her at 34 weeks. I had her at 34 weeks because she was six weeks early. So, and I'm 28, so I'm just like, can I just make it there? Because I know, I know that Cameron was safe and healthy by then. So, I'm just hoping the car will be too. So, I'm just like, let's make it to, even if it's 35, like 35 weeks is like my goal. And then, anytime after that, I'll be good for her to come. So, anyways, they're going to start seeing me weekly now. Um, so, just a lot more doctor's appointments. A lot more like ultrasounds and monitoring her I'm sure um so yeah just a lot more stuff and but it's like kicked us into gear because we do have a few more things to get I am having like a sprinkle shower in a couple weeks just like diapers and wipes really um we need like rock and chair bassinet not a ton of stuff we did consignment event I got a bunch of like stuff there onesies and things um so i think that we're pretty much prepared we still got to get a few more things done um but i'm excited to take her camp in i know i know we'll need some more stuff for that too i'm just not sure yet on what we did get a bat i actually there's some right here oh you can't see it we got a bassin up that would be great to even have it like outside when we're camping that might be what she sleeps in when we're at the camper so that one i think is gonna go there um still working on her room which i'm excited it's gonna be down here for now and i think that's about it just crazy that i had to go to the hospital and do that stay and it was so scary and like just we were having flashbacks to cameron i was like oh my gosh i can't believe if she's gonna come this early i don't want you know nothing to happen so hopefully we can keep in, her in here um definitely slowing down even though i still like exercising and walking and stuff and i walked um i did like a lap and i was like whew just i don't know at the end it's harder because you get more tired and then with the kids but then i'm also needing to slow down but i also still want to um i don't want to get like huge at the end and then i have to like lose all this weight but i also don't want to do like too much activity to bring on labor too early you know so hard like a try to find a middle ground so i'll show you on my belly she's absolutely huge and i may try to come back more weekly now since i'll have weekly appoint doctor appointments to update you guys and just keep on updated and how everything's going huh she's so big so she looked like he's three pounds. I feel like I look like I'm even bigger. I was just cleaning out my um, laptop because it was getting full. And I saw the picture of my video of my eight weeks. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. That was just here in eight weeks. And I'm 30, not 38, 28 weeks. Hopefully I'll make it to 38 weeks, 10 more weeks. I feel like I have about 10 more weeks to go. But who knows? Uh, and if y'all know my birth stories, I guess I need to talk about what I'm thinking this time. But um, my birth stories are all different. And, oh, first let me tell y'all, she's been moving like crazy. Like at night when we lay down to watch a show, my belly is just going nuts. I'm like, she is flipping in there. She's always moving. Like even when I'm busy doing hair, I can feel her moving. Um, and I still, I feel like I still feel hair a lot over on this side sometimes right here and as far as the ultrasound she was still head down so um but yeah she moves a ton and all the girls and everybody's felt her move which they love they love kissing on my belly so exciting they're super super excited to help and all i feel like she's got to come in a different way because all the girls have come all different ways I've had um, epidural, no epidural, C-section. So I'm like, what else can happen? How is Claire gonna get here? I am hoping to, um, I'm really hopeful to have a V-back 
and not have any kind of um, epidural in it or anything, hopefully, and just be quick like Claire's. So we'll see. I'm like, I can't believe I'm going through that again. So nuts. But I'm super excited. I love having all my girls, and I can't wait for her to get here and dress her in all these cute little clothes and bows and everything. So. All right, well, I'll try to come next week. It'll probably be 30 weeks, and then maybe I can do every week and see y'all then. So, and we're still trying to do daily vlogs a lot, so stay tuned. We'll see y'all soon. Bye.